As we started to walk on the edges of that place, the souls extended their hands to us and begged for mercy. They asked Jesus to take them out of there, but the Lord would not even look at them. Then we started to go through different sections. We came to the most terrible section of hell, where the worst torments happen, the center of hell, the most concentrated form of torment, such torments that a human being could never express them. The only people here were those who knew Jesus and the Word of God. There were pastors, evangelists, missionaries, and all types of people that had once accepted Jesus and knew the truth, but lived a double life. There were also backsliders. Their suffering was a thousand times worse than anyone else. They were shouting and begging the Lord for mercy. But the word of the Lord says in the book of Hebrews 10, 26 through 27, For if we continue on sinning willfully after acquiring the knowledge of the truth, and there is no longer left any sacrifice for our sins, but some dreadful anticipation of judgment and of a fierce fire that is to devour those who oppose God. Those souls were there because they preached, they fasted, they sung and lifted their hands in the church. But in the streets and the homes, they were in adultery, fornication, lying, a robbery. We cannot lie to God. The Bible says that he whom much has been given, much will be required. Luke 12, 48. God then allowed us to see two women that had once been Christian sisters while on the earth, but they didn't live a righteous life before the Lord. One said to the other, You cursed wretch! It's your fault that I'm in this place. You didn't preach to me a holy gospel, and because you didn't tell me about the truth, I'm now here in hell. They would say these things to each other in the midst of the flames. And they hated each other because there is no love, mercy, or forgiveness in hell. There were thousands of souls who had known the word of God, but their lives weren't clean before the holy presence of the Lord. You cannot play with God or with the flames of hell either, the Lord said. He also told us, My sons, all of the suffering on the earth concentrated in just one place is nothing, nothing compared with the suffering that a person has in the best parts of hell. If it is this terrible for those who suffer least in hell, how much worse must it be for those in the center of hell, who once knew the word of the Lord and walked away from it? Then the Lord told us that we could play with fire on earth, but never with the fire in hell.